Hi, this is John, the car cynic, and I have another review for you today. No, it's still not a car, and it's not another fidget spinner. If you're into radio control, you've probably seen these. This is a battery cell checker. They're cheap, convenient, and pretty much essential if you're using lithium polymer battery packs. They also have basic features such as a low voltage alarm, and if you actually put them in a plane or multi-rotor, they can act as a lost model finder. But they have some drawbacks. First, you have to wait for them to cycle through each cell voltage. You can't compare cell voltages all at once. Second, some of them can be difficult to see in bright sunlight. And lastly, if you leave them in the model, and the model doesn't fly away, and you've set your transmitter timer correctly to prevent over-discharge, they're really just dead weight. They don't tell me anything about battery performance during the flight. If you watch my other videos, you'll know I'm always searching the internet for something that is better than the average. What if there were something just as convenient, only a little more expensive, but was much more functional than these simple LiPo checkers? Well, I found just that, and I'll share it with you today. Let's start with, in great YouTube tra tradition, the unboxing. It arrived well packed in an outer bubble mailer, a cardboard box, and the unit itself was in another bubble pouch. As you will see, the unit itself has XT60 connectors, and included were adapters for T or Dean's connectors. This works well for me. Ever since my drone racing days, I have standardized all my aircraft on XT60. Of course, we have the unit itself. and instructions in Chinese and English. As one might, or at least should, expect, the English is not great, but we'll go over the basic functions and menus later in this video. The film over the display was too bubbled to be left on as a screen protector, so it needs to be removed. Let's take a look at the unit itself. On the right side are the XT60 connectors. On the left are the standard balance or JST connectors that we would expect to find on a regular LiPo checker. On the back we have the basic specs. It shows the checker is good for 2S to 6S batteries. Next I want to show you how you can use it just like a regular cell checker. It takes a few seconds to boot up but it actually gives you all of the cell voltages and the total voltage faster than cycling through each one at a time on a regular cell checker. I can compare each cell at my leisure and the total is displayed simultaneously. It correctly shows that this LiPo is not fully charged, but that the cells are fairly well balanced. Let's look at the menus. In settings, I can select English language or Chinese language. It doesn't really scroll through them. The up button is always Chinese and the down button is always English. I can also set the cell voltage alarm from 3.0 to 3.9 volts. The default of 3.7 is best to prevent over discharging a battery. So I'll set it back to the default. The button marked with a square is enter and then I press the back button to exit the system menu. Next is a function called steering test. I think this is a servo tester function that is not included in this version. Shown in the insert may be the version with the servo tester function. The next function is voltage detection, which is a default mode when the battery is connected via the balance leads, as I showed a moment ago. Amberage detection is the feature that makes this device more than just an overpriced LiPo cell checker. As it says, for this function, I must connect the battery via the XT60 connectors. This is the logging mode, and I'll show it to you in a moment. Just connecting a battery with no load shows the logging function, but of course, with no load, I'll always read zero amps. Next is the curve display, which as I will show in a moment, is how we play back logs that we recorded during a flight. So those are the basic functions and menus of this device. To use the device as a battery flight logger, I have to actually fly it in the plane. For this demonstration, I'm using a plane that it may just barely fit into, but it also serves to show how the included Dean's adapters would be used. This plane doesn't pull anywhere as near the 90 amp max load. 
And as you can see, the current display does not scale. Only the voltage display scales based on the number of cells. Lastly, I'll show you how we play back the log we just recorded. You can also see how the max current and min voltage are displayed. This small FPV sailplane only drew a peak of 11.4 amps. So that's a brief demonstration of the TTS cell checker and flight logger.